Okay, so day 91. So this is the last one of this week, I guess, I think. So here is the quote, mistakes are the portals of discovery. And then it says, what have you discovered about life, other people, and yourself through your mistakes? So if you're following along, just pause and think about what your response would be to this question. And here's what I wrote. Let's see the first sentence already. Let's see. I don't really feel like I've made any major mistakes. I guess I think I'm perfect. Let's see. Um, there were a couple people I've dated that I probably shouldn't have, but things turned out fine in the end, at least for me. And there were good times. So my handwriting is getting pretty bad right now. Um, let's see. There were good times and learning experiences along the way. So yeah, even though like sometimes dating didn't turn out right, but you know, you learn uh, some stuff. Um, this is not so much a mistake or regret, but I wish I would have become more self-aware sooner. I feel like that would have helped me be better for my grandpa before he passed, I feel like he was struggling with a lot of internal things that I would be better equipped to help him with now. Um, I also feel like that would have brought us closer than we already were. So yeah, I was really close with my grandparents and my grandpa, he really struggled with um, aging a lot. Um, he was always very active. Um, well, not like active, active. He didn't like work out or anything, but you know, he was always like doing yard work. So before he retired, he was a mechanic and, um, then he always was like maintaining the house and doing yard work and not just like his property, but like, especially after he retired, um, he would go over and cut the grass for my mom. He would even take the trash out for my mom and dad just because he liked to stay busy and he liked to do things and he didn't like to be idle. Um, but then as he got older, he like, his vision started going away so he couldn't drive as much. Um, his, it, it was not that, so it just went in kind of stages. It was like, I, mean, I don't need to go into a whole lot of detail, but basically he lost his ability to go out and do the things that he wanted to do. And there was a time that he was struggling with dealing with that, with not being able to have mobility to go out and do all the things he wanted to do. Um, and then when his vision and his hearing were going, it was like, even in the house, you know, he couldn't see the TV very well. He couldn't hear the TV very well. We tried to get him hearing aids, but he, he didn't really like wearing them. Um, and, uh, so he was just kind of trapped in his head, I think, a lot towards the end. And now I feel like we could have had, like at the time, like my understanding of myself and like of the world and of other people was pretty shallow. Um, and I, I didn't really, I couldn't like empathize too much with what he was going through. I don't think I'd ever really had a major bout of depression or like anything like that. Like I'd never really had any major struggles like that. And I couldn't really empathize with him. And I didn't, I wanted him to feel better and I wanted him to be happy and to not be as kind of like down as he would get sometimes. Um, but I didn't know how to do that. And I feel like now I could help him through that a little bit better. Um, so that is one thing I kind of regret, like not becoming more self-aware sooner so that I could like have been there for him and made things a little bit easy for him, especially in the last couple of years of his life. Um, but I mean, I can't change that now. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> when I had my moment where I came to like more self-realization and realization about the world 
and how I struggled with it, like that's where I really started feeling bad for that because I'm like, oh my gosh, if he was going through all of this that I went through like a couple years ago that I started going through and just like, and not, you know, I had YouTube videos and stuff to watch of people like talking about these things and relating to these things and you know I could find people that were having like the same feelings as me he he wasn't on YouTube he he couldn't even watch and listen to TV and enjoy that and or read the paper like because he couldn't see and like I would do stuff like that like I would read the paper to him and everything but like he didn't have someone to help him through that and I just feel so bad because I did have you know resources to kind of help me through that but um but yeah, that is one thing that, like I said, I wouldn't call it a mistake, but it, it's one thing that I wish that I could go back and do over. Um, if I had a do over, that would probably be like the main thing that I would, I would do over. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have another mistake. Ah, was letting my aunt move into my grandparents' house after they died. Cause that was a mess. Um, but as bad as that situation was, I think things turned out for the best. It allowed me to be able to cut ties with people who undoubtedly would have caused me more drama and negativity and conflict in my life. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think the main thing that, that came out of that was even though it was a stressful year or two, um, having to deal with all that drama some of my relatives are, are just drama, like they, and negative, and they don't bring like positive things to the people around them. And so I felt like that was kind of a blessing that that happened and gave me like the clarity to see like how certain people were and how it was affecting me, like, um, you know, like emotionally and mentally and yeah ever since I've kind of like that situation happened and it kind of finally got re was resolved like everything was done got them out I'm here now um it just like was a huge weight lifted off of me beyond just what what I was dealing with with that it was just like all of this like weight of like oh just because people are family it doesn't mean you have to like keep up relationships with them sometimes it's best for your own sake to cut out negative people. I think sometimes people may cut out too many people, maybe I do, but to me, it's, I feel like been a better thing overall um, in the end, even though it kind of sucked in the moment. Um, and I said, of course, there are a lot of things I wish I would have done a bit differently, but I don't really consider them mistakes. So that's what I mean when I say, I don't really feel like I've made any like major mistakes because anything that's not a lot has gone wrong in my life like I am very fortunate at least that I don't take in a lot of things has gone wrong and if I do if things did go wrong it's just kind of like I get over it really quickly like I just move on to the next thing I don't like dwell on like that that was bad I'm like all right well what's next so and whatever mistakes I did make I, I guess I kind of like try to make the best out of it so So yeah, that's how I feel about that. I, I do agree, I think, with the with the quote, mistakes are the portals of discovery. Um, I just think almost everything in life can be, you can discover things about yourself or other people. Um, so yeah, I think the main thing is to just like try things, just do things and try them but with the caveat of not getting yourself like stuck, like try things that are kind of like easy to like get out of if you need to like get out of it. Um, but, but yeah, I guess that's all I have for that one. And that kind of wraps up this week. So I will be back tomorrow with day 92.